<laughs> Good morning! And what a beautiful day! I hope you're having a wonderful day as well. Look where I am. Look at this beautiful weather. I am in Borobudur near Yogyakarta, Java, Indonesia. Welcome to my new accommodation for the night. I've arrived late, late for this place. It's just about nine o'clock. Got a key to my room. I'm gonna keep it quiet because everybody's sleeping because everybody's ready to get up at 4 a.m. in the morning. So I don't disturb them. So let me show you the room and explain to you what's going on here. But what am I doing changing accommodation when I have perfectly good accommodation in Yogyakarta? Well, I'm exploring Borobudur, the temple. And one of the features of Borobudur, Borobudur is sunrise. Sunrise is at, well, oh, let me put that down there for you. There we go. Sunrise is at five o'clock in the morning. And it's about an hour's drive from Yogyakarta. So I looked into staying closer just for the night so I can get up and do sunrise and get an advantage. Then I found this place is actually located inside the park and has its own entrance into the park and you can get in a bit earlier. So I can get in, I can have a little extra lion in bed, <laughs> which is always good, and I can get here earlier and the price of the hotel does include my entrance ticket into Borobudur in the morning as well as breakfast and afternoon tea. Arrived here late, hotels closed, all staff are gone, it's uh, 9 o'clock. <laughs> Security guard kindly showed me in. So I'm just going to crash for the night, or I'm going to put everything on charge, charge all my batteries, get everything ready for tomorrow morning when I'm up at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. I did pack some snacks so I could have some snacks and then I've got to walk up to the top of Borobudur and watch sunrise. Bedtime. Good morning. Well, actually, it's good 4 a.m. in the morning. But it is beautifully and fresh, and this is the coolest it's been in the, since Indonesia. And it is good morning. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. And it is time to watch a born dawn over Bora Budor. I just think it's a, a hill, so let's uh, find a way. I've never done this before, so I have no idea where I'm going. But there's a little sign there that says Borobudur Sunrise. So I'm guessing this is the way. Well, let's hope there's lots of useful signs like this because it's dark. 
but I do have a torch. There we go. So, there's some people there. Let's follow them. <laughs> Hope they're going the right way. And welcome to breakfast after sunrise at ooh, wobbly table after sunrise at Borobudur Temple, which is right over there. My breakfast view, I'll show you in a minute, is overlooking the temple. I got up way too early, walked up in the dark. It's a very easy walk up, some big steps as you go up, but it like took seven to ten minutes once the gate opened to get up, so very, very easy to get up. Then find a position to set up. Um, I was there nice and early because I'm staying at a, the accommodation here which is inside the park. So I got here before anybody else which was great um, because by the time sunrise came up it was busy. All the good spots with a nice view were taken. Um, it was a little bit hazy this morning. Didn't get a spectacular colourful sunrise but did get to see um, Merepi, the other volcano and a third volcano all visible beautiful at certain points and then had a look around the temple which I will explain to you and show you more footage of if I haven't already. Um, it did get quite busy up there and, and there's quite a limited amount of space at the actual temple at the top um, so it's difficult to get clear video. Um, photos is a little bit easier with no people in um, so I'll show you some, um, some footage of, of how many people are up there on the small sort of area. It is quite an amazing testimony uh, to construction and its beautiful location. It's surrounded in a lush green area. I'm sitting in a pine forest overlooking it and a lot of the area is very beautifully forested. These big volcanoes and mountains around. It really is something special to do. I've tried my best to show the beauty of the place and put some footage in with people in so you can get a real feel of what it's like as well as enjoying the beauty of what it's like and the serenity of the place. amazing temple. Let me tell you a little bit about it. It was built in the 8th century, that 7, 800 AD, but after a violent eruption of Mount Merapi, which is right over there, a mere, a mere 28 kilometers away, I tell you that's close for a volcano, Borobudur and all the surrounding area was completely covered in a huge layer of ash, so much so that the temple could no longer be seen. And it forced the local people from the area, the Hindus and the Buddhists from this area, to move further east and abandon this area. The temple then remained hidden and covered with jungle for hundreds of years after. And it wasn't until 1814 when the British governor of the area, Thomas Raffles, sent out an expedition to look for this temple that it heard, this mysterious big temple that was hidden somewhere in central Java. He sent some engineers out to go and find it and uncovered this temple. He then started excavating it. The Dutch then continued in excavating it. But it really wasn't until 1885 that this magnificent temple was finally completely uncovered. It was so overgrown with jungle and in such a difficult area to get to and not a lot of international interest. But 1885 revealed it to its current state. Now even when it was uncovered, not much archeological in interest was given to it at that time. 
Egyptologists were getting all the attention at that point, and central Java was not an easy place to get to in those days, the 1800s. It's not like today, where we get on a plane, we get on a train, we get on a bus, we get on the moped, and we're here wandering around this amazing part of history. In those days, it was a major undertaking. So, not much attention was given to it. But in 1907, a five-year program was committed to to restore the temple to the way that we see it today. Sitting on the hilltop, greeting the, more, the sun every morning as it rises, surrounded by volcanoes. Hmm. And the most active of all Indonesia's volcanoes is Mount Merapi, which is right there. It erupted once again in 2010, coating, this is 28 kilometers away, it coated this whole area in an inch thick of volcanic ash. The temple had to be closed and a huge cleanup operation was launched to clean it up and it wasn't until later the following year that it reopened to the public. Thankfully, since then, Manbarabi has rumbled, grumbled, but not erupted. But I do wonder for how long will this, will this temple once again be threatened by a volcano? <laughs>